I finally made my YouTube and the first video that I'm gonna make is a get ready with me it's very beginner friendly friendly so y'all just chill it's good like I used to not know how to do makeup either it's fine okay <laughs> But, um, by the way, my name is Shannon, so nice to meet you all, and if I know you, hey girl, what's poppin', y'all already know, I'm just playing, but it's a video, hey, 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 it's a video, <laughs> but anyway, so, if you wanna know what I do to get ready in any makeup situation, this is my go-to look, it's very beginner friendly, just stay tuned. Oh, you guys, I forgot to tell y'all, like, I already primed my face. Uh, let me tell y'all what I primed my face with. It's just affordable makeup. This is not, a, like, a high end because the girl don't have a coin. You get what I'm saying? Like, the girl, so why I'm doing this, I like to let this sit just so, you know, um, so I can get more coverage. This is, this is going to be a voiceover, y'all, so y'all ain't going to be giving me live and effect like this. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so this is LA Girl Pro Concealer. It's called, uh, I use Warm Honey. That's my that's my shade. That's my highlighting shade because I don't like a light highlight. So this is uh, what I use in my T-zone. This is what I use in my T-zone. I think it's called, what is it called? The uh, Poreless Face Primer. This was like, I think I paid like $5 for this. And it's a big bottle, so holy grail. Like this is the mineral infused, um... Can y'all see that? The mineral infused uh, face primer. So, um, I use this like all over my face, like, um, like in these areas, you know, so it won't, so my makeup won't pick up any texture. It makes it smooth. So, hey guys, this is the Sasha Buttercup, uh, uh, finishing powder. And this is what I use to just set my, uh, primer. Cause I am oily girl. So this is what I use. And I just use a little bit on a little um, powder brush. And this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in, um, I think it's orange. It's the corrector. And I just correct all my little dark spots and my discol discoloration um, around my mouth. Then I just use my fingers to tap it in. Then I just take my beauty blender to make sure it's, you know, blended in because you don't want like it to be too orange. And this is already too dark for my skin. So now I'm just blending in the concealer that I put on my eyelids, blending it in because this is going to be my all over color. And I just put um, a little too much Sasha Buttercup finishing powder. But yeah, I'm just setting it so it doesn't move. Now I'm just starting with my eyeliner. And this is Elf's uh, eyeline, liquid eyeliner, and I think it's jet black. And I'm just watering my eye, my um, my eye. Now I'm using my um, princess uh, lashes from uh, a girl from my hometown, my home girl. Uh, her name is uh, Jasmine Beasy. So y'all hit her up. I put her stuff in the uh, description box below. But that is the princess lash. And now I'm gonna use, you know, <laughs> hello Fenty Beauty. In the color 370 and then I just like to set my face with the uh, 
Too Faced uh, Hangover Primer. I don't know why. I just like it. So now I'm just dotting it all over my face. Now I'm just going to take this real technique uh real technique body sponge body face and sp I think it's face and body sponge it's the bigger one and I'm just going to blend 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 and I like this sponge because it makes it easier for people that are not or think they're not good at blending in it covers as you can see it's covering more space so I just blend 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 until I can't see any uh like y'all see those like little like you can kind of see like the little spots so um you just blend in until it looks like your skin now i'm just using the uh, uh little one this is a real technique sponge also and i'm just blending in the areas that i can't get with the bigger one and these are damp i don't know if i said that but these are damp y'all now I'm just going around my mouth again because I have discoloration. It's a little darker right there. So I'm just trying to make sure that that corrector under my skin is not, um, well, not under my skin, under my foundation is not um, peeking through because that can be a problem too. So beware that if you use corrector. Now I'm using the uh, LA Pro Conceal in Warm Honey to highlight all uh, the high points in my face. The bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, my forehead, and under my eyes. And this is just how I contour my nose because I have a flatter nose. So I don't like doing all that, you know, like intricate uh, contouring because it makes my nose look weird. And then it, my makeup doesn't look like me. That's another thing about my makeup. I like for my makeup to actually look like me. I don't like to look like another person. I want to actually look like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when I don't have my makeup on, it's not like a big difference. And it's not, it's just a personal presence. Like, so whatever you feel like you need to do, just do it, you know. But I just like to look like myself. I don't like to look like another person. Not because I care about what nobody else say. I just, this a personal preference. Now I'm just using the uh, Sasha Butter uh, Cup setting powder or finishing powder. No, loose powder. I'm sorry. <laughs> to set where I uh, highlighted it. And I really put too much because I really don't use this much. Y'all, I just, I got to look carried away because <laughs> I think I'm doing YouTube. So I got to look carried away. So sorry, y'all. Don't use this much. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but I am like blending it in. So now I'm using, now I'm about to uh, powder contour. I This is usually what I use the contour i don't um really like liquid contour so i just powder contour because i feel like it's easier so i gotta get rid of this double chin honey this forehead yes hello <laughs> get rid of it now i'm just cleaning it up Cause I was a little messy. Now I'm just getting all the excess powder off my face too. Cause I want a little ham. Now I'm just blending everything in, in, in. And we looking a little powdery, but trust the process. And <laughs> now I'm using my mineralized uh, finishing powder. I think it's skin powder uh, by Mac and Dark. 
And I just put that all over my face with this, um, what's this, uh, Real Techniques uh, fat, uh, face uh, powder brush. Warsaw's, Warsaw's are hard. Now I'm just using the Mario Badescu spray. And I love this. I drench myself in this because I don't like to be powdery. I like for my makeup to look like skin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Now I just use my uh, Real Technique sponge to just blend all that in because I use a lot. So, therefore, I have to make sure that it doesn't um, mess up my, my actual makeup, all the work that we did. Then I use it again. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> this is the Wet n Wild uh, highlighter and uh, I think it's Molten Gold. Yeah, Molten Gold. And I just spray it onto the actual um, highlighter. And then I'm using this um, e.l.f. small taper brush and just doing it on the high, uh, the high points of my cheek. And I like to go, you see how I'm turning it to the side? Because I don't like for my, my highlight to be seen from uh, like when you're looking at me straight in my face. Only when I turn because... It just looks weird, like you know what I'm saying. It just looks weird because it's not, it's not natural. I like for it to be natural. So yeah, now I'm just highlighting my cupid's bow, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, everywhere. <laughs> now I'm just highlighting with that same uh, highlighter my inner tear ducts, and this. This is what makes this. I don't know. This step it just pulls my whole look together. Now I'm using my girl Alyssa Ashley's Elf um, lip gloss, and I love this lip gloss. I think it's good for any skin tone. Now Fenty, uh, duh. <laughs> now Fenty uh, gloss bomb. I love this. This is this is staple. It's expensive, but it's a staple. Now we're going back in, and we're just highlighting uh, the inner part of my uh, mouth, cause I like for it to like sparkle. Now I'm using the Elf Illuminating and Set Spray. Uh, I love this, and I do the same thing that I did with the Mario Badescu spray. I make sure it's blended in, and now we are done. Hello. Hey guys, so this is the final look. And if you want a tutorial on this hairstyle, also just leave your comments below. And if you don't, that's okay. But this is my go to everyday look, beginner friendly. It's not much. The products aren't expensive. I think I use like one product that was like i think it's like 35 dollars the one product but it lasts you a long time but this is this is the finished look so if you guys liked it and you enjoyed it like comment and subscribe duh like come on like thank you guys for watching i love you all i finally made my youtube and it's motherfucking lit like period <laughs> Bye. First video tease. Bitch. <laughs> it's Liddy and I'm fucking popping, bitch. Period. Like, hello?